Hi, I'm Tom Lippincott, and welcome to Jazz Guitar Fingerstyle Technique. We're going to be talking about uh, everything that's involved with using your right hand fingers to play jazz guitar today. We'll be talking about both uh, putting down the pick entirely and playing with just your fingers, as well as ideas for playing with the pick and fingers combined. Who is this video uh, designed for? Uh, just looking at fingerstyle guitar technique, the title, and also just going by the fact that, you know, you see me playing just with my fingers, you might think, well, this is a video for somebody who plays just with their fingers or who is presently playing with a pick and wants to make that switch. And that is true. This video will, would be perfect for somebody in either one of those situations. But I also wanted to uh, point out that anybody who is uh, currently playing with a pick and has no plans to abandon the pick but is interested in incorporating their fingers for various uh, possibilities that aren't available with the pick this class is designed for you as well before we get started I, I want to spend a minute talking about this guitar as I do with all my classes just uh, in case there's anybody who's new to one of my classes and explain what's going on here with the extra strings uh, this is an eight string guitar as you can see however the inner six strings are the same as a regular guitar e a d g b e and i simply have an extra string on either edge i'm placing the fingers on the string first and then plucking so rather than starting above and just kind of aiming and hoping that i catch the string i'm placing my fingers first and then just doing a follow through. Instead of playing up strokes, like I normally would, down, up, down, up, down, up, uh, my pick's gonna play all down strokes, and instead of playing an up stroke with the pick, I'm gonna play an up stroke with my middle finger. You wanna uh, start off nice and slow, and notice again that I'm using preparation. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, full-on finger picking, putting the pick down and abandoning it entirely. From an anatomical standpoint, the pinky is actually a very strong and pretty independent finger. Just because it's physically smaller than the others doesn't automatically mean it's this weak, useless finger. And I think it's more just due to the due to conditioning that people think that it is this weak finger and they've never tried to use it. But if you actually, you know, work with it and, and kind of have a, a more positive attitude and think, okay, it's it's a finger just like any of the others, I can learn to use it. I think for most people you can. It's a relatively uncommon practice to play single note lines with just the fingers. And there's as many different techniques for doing this as there are guitar players that do it. And so one of the things I'm gonna do in this class is to outline uh, some of the different possibilities that there are. Uh, this is just an example of a typical 251 line and I've meticulously written out both the left and the right hand fingerings that I might use for playing a line like this. <laughs>
I like to use a lot of these bebop heads or melodies as sort of a technical study to help me sort of uh, get the, the mechanics of how to play lines programmed in my fingers. <laughs> This last one's almost like a polish that puts a really glass smooth edge on the nail so that when you hit the string it just glides over it. And it really does make a difference in the tone. Thank <laughs> you. 